the Nintendo 3DS. I'm pretty sure we know what it is, especially if you've been watching my channel, of course, since I'm doing a bit of a retrospective series on some 3DS games. A series where I'm slowly getting those videos out. I, I swear. But other than that, I'm pretty sure we know what the 3DS is. I mean, it's not like it's a 12-year-old system and it didn't get discontinued three years ago and it lost full support earlier this year. <laughs> of course not, it's still relevant. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm coping. But why exactly am I talking about the 3DS itself? Well, if you read the title, then you know that there's one main feature on the 3DS that still works and I wanted to know if people still use it. That feature being, of course, Street Pass. For those of you who don't know, the 3DS had a feature called Street Pass, shocker, where if you put it on sleep mode, then you'd be able to connect to other 3DS systems that were nearby. You'll know if you got a Street Pass by the little indicator that's here, the exact same spot where it tells you your 3DS is charging or almost out of battery. Then when you know you have a Street Pass, you open up your 3DS and open a game called Mi Plaza. In Mi Plaza, you get to know a little bit more about the person you've come across, about what state or country they're from, or the recent game they played, or I guess their favorite game. And you also get to play with their Mi's through some of the mini games in Mi Plaza's. And there's a bunch of mini games that you can play. And I would love to tell you all the mini games that are available in Mi Plaza, but that's just going into that would just take a while, and this, this is not the video for that. But when people with 3DS's were easy to come across, you just have a lot of fun messing around in Mi Plaza, and it kept the 3DS community alive because of it. But now we pretty much live past that age, as you don't really see people carrying around 3DS's anymore. But now we live in the era of the Switch, which is kind of sad to see that the 3DS is no longer supported, or just like nobody carrying around 3DS's anymore, but it was notable as old systems usually phase out. But there were a few people that still try to keep the 3DS alive through the Street Pass function, and you'll see some videos online about it. And that's really why I'm making this video, because I got inspired by those videos. I wanted to see for myself if anyone is still carrying around a 3DS, and exactly how many Street Passes I can get. And that's pretty much the goal for this video. I want to see exactly how many street passes I can get within a week. For the beginning of it, I'm exactly not so confident about it, but for the final four days or so, I have some hope of getting some, and you'll probably see why, why later in the video. So join me, and let's see exactly how many street passes I can get within a week. It fit the title, you know? It fits the title. So here's uh, day one, I guess, of this whole journey, turning on my 3DS, and hopefully future me did tell you uh, what I'm doing, or did the, at least did the intro. If not, well, here's a reminder of me telling him to do an intro. So yeah, here we go, no new Me Plaza, I mean, probably telling you about the games, but no new uh, Mii's. Even though I made a spiel in the beginning, I, at least I believe so, about, uh, my Mii's, my Mii Pass, Street Pass thing, uh, I'm not gonna go over why they're so little right now, because that would be a tragic, uh, story to go over. So, yeah, I'll continue, uh, vlogging, I guess, where I'm going next, so, yeah. So I should quickly explain that the format for this video is gonna be more simple vlogging style, and then at the end of each day, I'm gonna be giving you how many, or telling you how many street passes I've gotten each day. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna be telling it up and giving you the results of everything. So, there's that. And I should probably be explaining what's going on here. So my first stop was to visit my local, or my hometown's, uh, Books A Million, just to just check out some of the manga they had since, of course, I'm a weeb, so I had to see what new stuff they had. Also, here's a dope ass that even won't be kid here in the manga section. Uh, hell yeah. There were a good amount of manga there that I really wanted to pick up, but I knew I had to stop myself and not spend too much because uh, there was uh, something a bit later down the road I kind of wanted to save my money for, so I only picked up uh, only two things there. So this camera angle is going to be weird, but uh, 
got out of my local mall, and I only picked up one volume of manga. I was eyeing on the One Piece, but, uh, I just got myself Ayashimon, which, uh, for those who don't know, it was a Shonen Jump, or it was on Shonen Jump, uh, so you see, there's, there's, a, there's a logo, but, uh, it got axed, uh, after, like, I want to say 20 chapters or so? I kind of liked it, uh, seemed like it was building up to something, but it, I, it got axed too soon, in my opinion, and I'm sure others feel the same way. It was definitely a, uh, slow, a slow burn. So, uh, I, I just thought, hey, I just saw this. I didn't know it was out. I just thought, hey, you know, uh, why not? Why, why not? Why not pick it up? You know, why not? Uh, so, yeah. Also realize, uh, I'm carrying too much things in my pockets. And it does not, my shorts do not support, uh, the weight. So, I'm gonna have to fix that a bit at my next stop. So, uh... Go to my local game store, I guess. That's not a game store. So, of course, I'm not going to be revealing the name of this game store, be or I guess comic book and shop cook. Collectible sh shop, I guess. Because uh, obviously, uh, they'll be doxing where I live or my hometown, and I kind of don't want to do that for obvious reasons. Okay, that's a lie, because I'm not going to be editing out all the fucking s s price stickers, because. I did not realize, but I just realized now that there's a lot of them, and holy fuck, that takes so much time for me to just blank out or just, like, censor, so no, no, I, I, I don't care, just, I don't care anymore. Though it would have been a funny bit to just say that, and then, well, you can see those price stickers and me not tell you all this. Sort of just ruined the joke, huh? But here I am looking at the model kits, just because why not? And I'm, you're probably looking at seeing me like pick out these Zoids uh, model kits, and that's because I like Zoids uh, as a kid, and I kind of do appreciate it now. And I would really love to uh, have a model kit of a Zoids figure, especially uh, or specifically specifically Liger Zero. But hey, that's something down the road I'll get maybe. But now we move on to the vi video games, and here are some of their high marked stuff. I don't know if you could really. You'll probably pause and maybe look at the prices. I don't know, but yeah, they're they're like pretty expensive for the most part, which uh, it, it tends to be that way, I guess. And here's some of the consoles. Yeah. <laughs> and here's more of the more accessible games to get. Here I'm looking at the Wii U games because uh, I'm interested in getting, getting some more Wii U games or building up a little bit of a collection there, and getting some of the games I, that I've uh, unfortunately lost. So, kind of want to rebuild that. As well as my Xbox 360 collection, also just adding upon it, like this Lightning Returns, I kind of, I've been interested in playing Final Fantasy 13 just because I want to get my own opinion on it, but seeing this copy of uh, Lightning Returns for like 16 bucks, I wasn't really convinced to buy it there and then, so, but maybe one day I'll get it and may probably make a video about it, like the whole 13 franchise, but or series, but I don't know, that's that's for future me to figure out if I want to do that or not. Okay, so I got a copy of Pokemon Tournament in there. Uh it was eleven dollars. I don't know if I if I showed the other copy. I don't think I did, but there was another copy of Pokemon Tournament for almost sixty bucks. This game goes online for almost like 10 bucks so I, I, I paid a I paid a bit more than uh, what's online but you know that, that that's fine or whatever but I was just surprised at this I was like because the ring the game rang up as six almost like fifty five dollars and I was just surprised because there, there was a copy of fifty five dollars of for Pokemon tournament and then I saw this one for 12 bucks and I'm like what the hell why, why is this one incredibly cheaper than the other one? So, but it got corrected to $12, which I thought it was a steal, but apparently I paid a little bit, uh, a little bit over market value for this game, which I guess is fine. And you might be wondering, why the hell did I get Pokemon Tournament for the Wii U? Well, uh, I'm trying to build up my collection that I got stole that got stolen for me. So, and this was one of the games I, I don't have, or that was stolen. So, 
glad to have it in the collection again. Now I could have just replaced it by just getting Pokemon Tournament DX, but I feel like this is fine. I feel like this is a fine copy to get. I don't think I'm ever gonna play Pokemon Tournament again, so I just wanted this for my collection, just to re be rebuild my collection, so there's that. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go home now and wait until I go back to my apartment and stuff like that. So uh, not a pretty much eventful day, but yeah, yeah there you go leg cam so to iterate again just in case the audio is bad which i wouldn't be surprised if it is and also i'm not sure if it if my uh if it picked up really well my voice while i was in there i'll probably have a voiceover so uh i don't know but yeah these are my pickups for today uh and nothing, today's not gonna be eventful for this 3ds street pass adventure uh, but you know uh it's at least uh something at least i mean my town my hometown isn't that big so there aren't really in many places to go and check out for for this type of thing at Street Pass, but tomorrow will probably be more eventful though. But yeah, uh, I'll probably cut to like when I get back to my apartment or whatever, so yeah. So we don't mind this little setup I have here, but today is the day end of the first day. I don't know what I was saying there. Ignore that. But today is the end of the first day and well, uh, I would say that today was pretty uneventful, but, uh, well, uh, I'm pretty sure you'll see tomorrow. I'm pretty sure I'll show it off tomorrow. If not, well, well, I would just leave that up to your imagination. As you can see here, I did not get any street passes today. Well, I did get a notification, but, but it's just basically giving me all the, the Meaver stuff or street pass stuff. So, yeah, there is no, I did not street pass anyone in my hometown, so, but, now that I'm back in my apartment and closer to the city, uh, that will probably change, so... I'll probably cut to tomorrow now, so... Yeah. So, today is the second day for this street pass counter thing, uh... I do have a title in mind, but I don't know what I'm calling you right now. Since I'm going a bit further into the city, or at least I'm being... Going to the mall this time. I should have. I would hope I at least get one street pass today. At least I would imagine I do, or at least hope I do. Depends on how busy it is. It is at least. And um, well, yeah. Let's see if I do. And you might be wondering why am I showing my face now and wearing this mask? <laughs> well, to that I say, don't ask questions. Also, I mentioned about my uh, collecting Xbox games, and well. Uh... <laughs> This is what I'm talking about, about uh, having, well, I don't think I said it had issues, but I'm having issues with my Xbox. I would turn it on, or at least I hope I do have footage of it, me turning it on and showing it right now, or at least like earlier, probably right now. But, but yeah, it has the red ring, so I am going to get it checked out and see if there's any way of uh, fixing this baby, because uh, I'm not ready to let it go for obvious reasons. So here I am at the mall, uh, actually before it's open. Uh, so I'm just waiting out here until it opens. Uh, just, yeah, until it opens. And I'm gonna spend a lot of time in there until probably 4 p.m. <laughs> yeah, until 4 p.m. Uh, well, I guess we'll see if I uh, get any street passes. I won't be recording in there because uh, <laughs> I'm a shitty vlogger. And I'm not, I'm not yet comfortable with this. So, yeah. But um, I'll definitely give an update when I come back or leave them all. So, yeah. So, see you till then, I guess. So, it's around 4 now. And uh, I haven't checked my 3DS to see if I got any street passes. I want to say I don't got any. But, I don't know. We'll check later in the day or when I get back to the apartment. I don't know. But, um... But yeah, now I'm heading to uh, go get my console, re my Xbox repaired. I don't know why this kind of turned into a vlog, but I, I guess it did. I, I guess it's become a vlog now. So I don't know. I guess we'll uh, be over there in a second, I guess. Well, I got the results back. Don't mind the Donkey Makara's there. So yeah, I got a... Uh... 
report back on my Xbox 360 and the issues I was having, well, not really. They just told me that it, there's a hardware issue. So they didn't really give me a specific. I did try looking, looking up the issue before uh, getting it tested. And from what I was able to know is that you, you do like, by doing the injection thing and like the lights, it'll tell you like an error ID. I got a specific error that was like a, there was like a GPU issue or something like that. I, I don't really know. I don't really know how it works or if that was, and that is the correct issue. But uh, they told me that they could not, they personally would not take the risk of fixing it because they could, they'll probably end up breaking it, which uh, I'd rather them try than not, in my personal opinion, but I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, they, they, they just suggested that I uh, just buy a new Xbox and that's it. Which, personally, I don't really want to since that's a, that's a pretty limited, like a rare Xbox 360 to have. A Star Wars themed one and that's like... A, really rare and I'd rather keep that alive and I guess the other solution they said it's like oh I could just like buy a new Xbox and just like take the covers and everything and just swap it with that but it, it wouldn't be the same since it I would have to also take like the LED the blue LED lights and put it over there to make it look authentic but it wouldn't it still wouldn't be the same Xbox kind of like that philosophy or whatever it's like oh if we change parts of a boat or whatever is it exactly the same boat but in this case it, it wouldn't be the same xbox <laughs> kind of a weird thing uh to bring up i guess or i guess a weird way to compare it exactly but yeah it, it, for me it wouldn't be the same and i i just don't want to do that it, it just seems too much of a hassle to do i'd rather just keep it and i guess like the other thing or, or I guess, I guess another thing I could do is just buy like an Xbox Series X since I know that can play old Xbox 360 games and stuff like that. I don't know about, or I think it's like very limited to how many. I don't remember, but I guess I could also do that. But man, it kind of sucks that, I, that it doesn't work anymore. My 360 that is. And just, I've had a thing for since 2012, 13? And, you know, I kind of don't want to lose it. It's precious to me. It's, it's as dumb as it may sound, I don't know. But, yeah. Kind of sucks. I guess that's... That's that, I guess. I don't know. Also, I should say this is future me talking about this, or remaking this section, sort of. Because past me didn't really explain it that well. And I was going through something, so... Just give you a weird, a weird cut to past me now, so... Oh, past me. And, yep, no success. Very unfortunate. Another failure, but you know what? There's still, um, if I could do math, five more days. Five, five, five more days. So, and plus the, the final four days are gonna be very packed, uh, and you'll see why. It's a failure there for today, so I'm just gonna call it that for today and just work on the work on my new video so yeah here's a sneak peek and a little uh preview of the next video i don't know if i'm i guess uh spoiling it but i'm pretty sure i am since this this video is probably gonna or the one uh this three pass video is probably gonna come out earlier or before uh this video right here so uh a little sneak peek I guess, or spoilers, I guess. But uh, yeah, gonna be doing the voiceover for this video, or I guess like the script reading, and then uh, yeah, just gonna be doing that all day, <laughs> or, or the rest of the day, and just continue working on this. So yeah, see you guys tomorrow for day three. Yeah. So this is probably better distance between me and the camera. So I know yesterday was a bit, or at least like day two, was sort of depressing. But anyway, today is day three of the this street pass journey, at least. And today I'm going to be hitting up the mall again and 
staying there for again a couple of hours and hopefully this time or at least today I go to a bit more places but uh we'll definitely see what what happens but but yeah uh, hopefully this time I get I do get a street pass, though it's starting to seem less likely like I will, but hey, who knows. So yeah, I guess I'll cut to when I do get to the parking lot or whatever, and I don't know, I'll probably say something. Well, we're back to being uh, close and personal again. So yeah, I'm back at the mall again before it's open, so I'm just gonna wait here for a couple of minutes and wait till it opens, and yeah. We'll see if I get any street passes. Fingers crossed, but I, I, I doubt we'll get over here. But again, we'll see. And we'll see where today takes us as well. So, see you in a bit. Don't really have much to add here other than, man, an empty mall does have that backrooms feeling. Like, Jesus. So, I'm out of the mall again, and uh, I mean, yeah. Nothing really much happened, except I did check out this anime, this kind of anime store, but I did not get any footage of that because I'm a terrible, uh, I guess, vlogger and just bad at getting these shots. I am very, uh, it's very awkward to do in public, especially if you aren't, uh, don't have a big following, so it just makes it more awkward to do it, but <laughs> making me, it's making me realize I'm a bad, uh, I'm a bad YouTuber, but uh, maybe next time I'll definitely get some footage of me. I'm probably, I'll probably be coming back tomorrow again. There's more, more of a chance for me getting, getting more B-roll and all that shiz. So there's that. And then I'll probably go to another location just to make up for it and probably actually try to record inside and get some like a decent footage. So let's go to a local uh, secondhand bookstore kind of place. So yeah, see you there, I guess. I should explain a bit better here, but this place is of course a bookstore, but it also has like secondhand stuff that they sell. Like here they have video games, but they also have like old vinyls and CDs, used books, and other stuff like that. But it's mainly a bookstore, but it just has like all of this in the side. So as I mentioned previously, I was looking to rebuild my Xbox 360 collection. So here I am looking at the games to see what I can get and uh, add back to my collection. Then I move over to the PS4 games just to see if there's anything that interests me. Uh, there was this copy of Digimon Cyber Sleuth that i kind of seen a bit of, but I'm not sure if it's a game I'll enjoy. I don't know. Maybe it's one of those things where I make a video out of it. Again, I'm not completely sure, so no promises. Then finally I move over to the DS section just to see what they have and it's unsurprisingly just shovelware stuff, so nothing really interesting here. Okay, when I said finally, I meant for the games, because then I move over to the manga section, and I just look around a bit to see what if, I, if there's any manga that catches my eye, anything new, or uh, any series I wanted to uh, continue collecting for. And while I did see things that caught my eye from both the video, video games and the manga, I ended up not getting anything just because uh, I wanted to save a bit of money for, again, <laughs> later down the road, as you'll see. So yeah, I pretty much left empty-handed, but I then headed to the last place I wanted to go to, and that was Walmart, more so to do some personal grocery shopping and all that. And there wasn't anything noteworthy in my trip to Walmart, of course. It's me, Charlie Day. It's me, Jack Black. So I'm back inside now in my apartment and uh, well, I guess we should now see the results of uh, today's street pass number. I think my camera's gonna fall over, but we're just gonna ignore that. So, oh, look at that. It looks like that we do have one. At least that's what I would say if that were the actual case. See, earlier today I tried testing out my street pass with my other 3DS here. Just to see if it actually was working and not, well, yeah, just to see if it actually was working or not. And, uh, well, as you can see, it did work. But I guess we should see if it actually was just my, uh, my test here and not like, I don't actually have an actual street pass here. So let's go check and see. And I guess I should show you. Yep, it, it was just the example one, so. Counter is still at zero, unfortunately. Wait, did you see it? 
A person unrelated to the video passes by the window, and this has no significance at all. Which kind of sucks, to be honest. It's not really going how I thought it would, but I guess it isn't all that too surprising as well. Though there's still, what, like three more days? I have five days, not three. What the hell was... <laughs> Where did I come up with that number? It'll make sense later why it's five and not four. But yeah, I still have five more days to uh, see if... Uh, if I do get a street pass, again, fingers crossed, so I guess I'll cut to uh, the next day. So, yeah. See you then. Okay, so today is the fourth day to this street pass adventure. I'm really not being creative with these next day intros, are I? Also, you might have noticed um, that I took off the mask. And, well, that's because I'm getting tired of dragging this around with me everywhere, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm just done with it. Now you, now you get to look at my ugly mug. So today I'm probably going to be going around a little bit more places, maybe. It, it all depends, really, but... Yeah. <clears throat> Let's hope we actually get one tree pass today. I keep saying that, it never happens, so... <laughs> my god, I'm praying that today I actually, we actually do get one tree pass. So as per usual, the first place I head to is the mall, and this is the anime store that I was talking about earlier. Me and my friends were looking at the Pokemon plushes, and I stumbled upon this Gardevoir uh, plush, which uh, <laughs> which just has a disfigured head, to say the least. <laughs> then, in the anime figure section, they of course have the standard stuff here, as you can see, you know, pop up for uh, pop up parades. Nindoroids uh, and some other stuff here, like crane game figures as well. And they also have a Gundam section, or model kit section on the corner over here. Uh, there you go. And yeah, there wasn't anything that caught my eye except for like a Miku figure that will be popping up here in a sec. Uh, that I thought it kind of looked nice, but I'm not the biggest Miku fan. Like, I like her stuff, but I'm not sure if I would uh, get it, but maybe one day I would. I don't know. But, yeah, I didn't really spend much in this place here. Oh, and here's some, like, cute keychains here. That, and one that I liked was the Charmander one, because uh, I'm, I like the Charizard line, so uh, don't at me, I guess. <laughs> Shut up. Last place in the mall we check out is the Hot Topic, and, uh, again, there's nothing really much to note. It's just something that we do. I don't know why. I guess we just, like, checking out what they have, but that's about it. The final place we went to for the day was this game store, which uh, has a variety of things as well, you know, the usual anime figures, uh, model kits over here, of course, video games and tabletop stuff. Of course, they have their pricey games here in the cabinets here. Uh, I unfortunately don't show a good amount of them, but there are some pretty good stuff there, at least the, from the things that I liked, And uh, but unfortunately, I did not show that here. I did pick up one game here, and it was this Ice Shield 21 game. I already know it's not good, but I, I was reading Ice Shield 21 at the time, and I was really enjoying the manga, and I thought I saw this, and I was like, hey, why not? It's It seems interesting to pick up. I know it's not going to be good, but I just thought it'd be interesting. And I also saw this Metro Prime Hunters first hunt demo. Uh, not really worth much, but I just thought it was interesting. Alrighty, so today is the end of the fourth day, so... I guess more of the truth if we see if we got any three passes, and the answer is a cold no. So again, another disappointing day, but I guess that's what happens when you try to see if there's any street passes in 2023. It's to be expected that you get no street passes, but we still have four days, so there's still that. Especially uh, especially what's in plan for tomorrow. You guys will see in the next day, and because I don't want to spoil it right now, even though it's probably going to be a couple of seconds for you guys. But anyways, um, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow, and hopefully, I am huffing hopium that I at least get one street pass. Otherwise, this video is going to be, <laughs> this video is going to be very underwhelming. So, I, 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 pr I pray, I pray. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm praying. I'm ho hoping, huffing hopium. So, yeah. See you guys tomorrow, and hopefully I do get a street pass either tomorrow or at least within the next few days. So, I guess 
you'll see in a couple of minutes and I'll see, well, I guess I'll be the first one seeing it, but yeah. <laughs> I don't know why this is running longer than it should be, but yes. C cut to the next part. So welcome to the fifth day. Should be more prepared. Fifth day of the Street Pass video. This video, day five. But yes, today is day five, and still zero street passes, unfortunately. Sag. But today is special. Or at least these four days are gonna be special because I'm attending MomoCon. I, I, I thought I was gonna do a little drum roll there, but I decided not to. So yeah, the big review is that the last four days is I'm attending, or I was attending MomoCon. Really shows you how old this footage is, huh? So yeah, I'm not going to be going too into detail about each day because uh, I sort of already did that in the MobileCon vlog, which uh, you go watch after this video, of course. But but yeah, I'll just be giving the sort of Cliff Notes version of like what I've done at each day within, of course, the uh, street passes I get. So one of the many things I go and check out are the Japanese imported games. I sort of just browse around and see what's what sort of catches my eye and, and buy. Because even though some of these games are like region locked and you can't play them like US uh, consoles, I do have like my 3DS that is modded where I can play uh, Japanese games. So I was sort of interested in seeing if there was any like 3DS or DS games that I can play or, or just buy and, and just see it and add it to my collection. Though I just ended up buying The Last Story in a Japanese copy of Xenoblade Chronicles because uh, I love Xenoblade and also uh, Last Story was part of Operation Rainfall. Which, if you want to know the context to that, uh, watch my Xenoblade video. <laughs> Gotta love the shameless plugs. Then I go to the arcade to play some just rhythm games and other variety of uh, arcade games that are there. But the one I got that I have footage of is the uh, the Miku uh, rhythm game. How did you already know what to do? What the fuck? <laughs> Are you cheating? <laughs> I played this game before. Yeah, I like Miku or something. Even though I'm not playing a Miku song on this footage. <laughs> and that'll be all that I really show, and it'll be the same for the other days, since again, I already made a video about uh, me being a Momocon, so I feel like it'd just be redundant if I just that again so yeah so yeah today's the end of day five today's the end of day five and i'm being a bit quiet because i'm someone who's trying to sleep i don't i don't want to be too loud now because it's pretty late anyways i'm tired <laughs> but let's check on on me versus today and look at that finally did it finally got a straight pass so let's see specifically how many i got in so Let's watch, I guess. <laughs> Just one. Oh. Ten people. <laughs> ten people. Pretty pretty nice. So yeah, that was ten people, alright. Look at that. We're making progress, actually. Who would have thought that going to a convention there'd be people who use their 3DS? But yeah, honestly pretty cool that. I actually got some street passes today. It's pretty nice to see. I wonder how many more we could get, how many more we can get within the next three day or so. So yeah, cutting to day six of MomoCon, or I guess second day of MomoCon, but day six for this street pass thing, so. So I didn't make an intro for this day, but this is day six, as you can see, or as you saw from the transition there. But yeah, one of the things I saw there that I still kind of think is was sort of cool were these uh, models or statues here or figures, what whatever, <laughs> whatever they call them. But I thought these were these looked pretty cool. There was also some model kits there, like uh, Gundam model kits. But like again, gotta watch the Mobilecom video for that. But speaking of, I did see these model kits over here. Uh, not really sure. I don't think they had the prizes for them, but there were some that I was pretty interested in, uh, especially the 86 Reagan Leaf. 
uh, model kits here. Me and my friends also stumbled across this uh, train arcade machine here, which uh, I didn't get to play myself, but it looked <laughs> it looked kind of goofy and interesting, but I, I would have liked to have played it. And again, as I'm probably going to keep constantly mentioning, uh, I'm just like doing uh, running through these, speed running through these just so uh, I'm not reusing too much uh, old footage or showing all these again since again I already made a video I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep doing that uh, putting that down your throats so yeah like yeah uh, I went to the Chugga Conroy uh, panel like really fun and then I also went to this Final Fantasy concert which also pretty good the they were both really fun and really cool then one of the last panels I sort of went to was this uh, voice actor Q&A uh, with uh, Yuri Lowenthal, uh, Terra. I think it's Terra. I, I don't have uh, their names up here or with me right now, so I'm like drawing a blank. I'm sorry to them. <laughs> but it's the uh, the other voice actresses are uh, the one who voiced Edelgard and Tails. But before the panel started, I did try to check my uh, me uh, my street passes because. Uh, I soon realized that uh, it sort of caps at 10, so knowing that at that time, I decided to check how many street passes I got, or at least check on it. And of course, I have another 10 here, so there's that to add now, and I'm probably going to cut to like the end of the day when I go back to my apartment, so there's this 10, and now for the other uh, amount that I got. So I'm back from day 2 of MobileCon or I guess it should be like day six of the Street Pass, of, street pass uh, journey, one week journey. But this time I did, again, I got a good amount of Street Passes. I'm pretty sure I showed or that I did uh, get 10 Street Passes and I showed it like between a panel. So there was that. And again, as you can see, or as you can see, there's still more Street Passes that I got. But anyways, uh, let's look into this batch of three passes, so let's do that. I feel like I should be getting 10 more, but we'll see. Did I say six? So I probably wasn't showing that all too well, but yeah, six. So that brings our total to 26 so far, which is pretty cool. And I'm also guessing that the limit is for three passes is 10. I need to remember that for tomorrow because yesterday I could have, I probably could have, I probably could have had more if I uh, if I knew about that. So, you know, there's always tomorrow and then the last day, which is Sunday. So there's still a bit more street passes I can get. But yep, that, uh, that's for today's street pass counter. So again, I have tomorrow and then Sundays to uh, see how many street passes I get. So let's, uh, I guess I'll cut into the next day. So yeah, another day with no intro, with this being day 7. Let's get right into the speedrun of a day. So me and my group of friends decided to go check out the Japanese imported games once again to see if there was anything that we missed that we might have wanted to get, but uh, for this day I didn't see anything else that I wanted personally, so I didn't really get much, or I, yeah, I didn't, I didn't get anything here. But I did find a limited edition for the Ace Attorney game, I think the first one, or probably Trilogy, I don't really know, but it's there and it looked cool, but I didn't buy it. So after a bit of looking and walking around, we decided to go get lunch. Luckily, the CNN building was pretty close by and we decided to get lunch there, since again, it was the closest one. And while I was here, I decided to check my street pass and here's the footage of that. And as you'll see, by this time I got 9 street passes, which, you know, it's a pretty good start, and, well, after getting some lunch, or I guess eating lunch, we head back to the convention. Once back, I decided to check out the Xenoblade, uh, photo shoot, cause, uh, I'm a Xenoblade fan, Xenoblade Chronicles fan, so, yeah, you know how based I am. And seeing a bunch of Xenoblade Chronicles fans was Really cool, and as well as seeing all these uh, cosplayers. I then get this copy of Yokia Watch 2 Fleshy Souls to add back to my collection. I then decide to take a bit of a breather and also check up on my street passes, which 
from me, but you can see here I receive another eight of them. So knowing now that the max is 10, I'm actually able to actually gather some more street passes this day and then later on as well. The next thing I did was check out the ink tanks uh, panel here and uh, <laughs> it was pretty interesting, but also pretty fun. With my group of friends being hungry again, we go out hunting for some food again. And unfortunately, we don't get any Johnny's Rocket. What a very sad day that was. But I did check on my street pass before eating and this time I only collected four here, but this this guy was from Japan or at least put his uh, 3DS in Japan or his region in Japan. So I don't know about that, but I guess, I guess that's cool. Then we head back one last time to check out the Runaway Guys' uh, Q&A panel. I didn't really watch their content and I was just merely there just to be with my friend since I didn't really have anything else to do. But I do take the time to at least check out my street passes and from here I got another six more. So I guess it was a bit worth it, I guess. And since it was late and there was pretty much nothing left to do, I leave and head back to my apartment. Back to the closet again. Or in the closet again. There's a joke to be said there or written there. But I'm back from day three of MobileCon, or day seven. Let's uh, check again with the me Plaza. The street pass, see how many street passes I got. Let's see what I mean, I've got today. And that seems to be five, oh well, five here. And yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's the end of day three of MobileCon, day seven. So, and tomorrow's gonna be the last day for this journey. And last day of Bobacon, so. Can you want to see how many. The final number and the final count of. Uh, oh, <laughs> Street Pass Journey. And then I guess I'll. Yeah, cut to the next day and all that, so. Yeah. See you all in a second, I guess, so. Yeah. So even though this is the last day for Momocon and this Street Pass video, I <laughs> did not make an intro for this day. <laughs> Shockingly. But if I have to be honest, there was there's nothing special about this day. I didn't do fuck all. I just walked around one last time and looked around to see if there was any last purchases I wanted to make. And surprisingly, well, I mean, I did make one purchase, but... Other than that, uh, not really. There was really nothing else that I, uh, that I caught my eye. So me and my friend just stop and talk about, uh, or talk about, like, what we're gonna do later on, but of course, I, of course, check out my street pass, and as you can see, I got four, uh, street passes at that time. Not a whole lot with the last day, uh, well, didn't really take that much time to get some street passes. So with nothing actually left to do, me and my friends just decided to leave and go get lunch together, and... Thus ends our uh, Momocon uh, experience for that year. Very sad indeed. So I'm back from Momocon and uh, well, I guess as per usual, check and see if I have any street passes. And I mean, as you can see, doesn't really look like you do, but never know. Fuck, okay. I don't think I have my glasses. Well, um. It looks like I forgot to close out of Me Plaza, so that means I did not get any more street passes. So I did have a good amount of street passes, as you can, as you can see, throughout uh, this whole eight-day journey of, I guess, street pass. So I guess to end this off, I uh, there should be something that comes out of this, right? Did not really think of one. Not really, but you know what? We'll make one up right now. Or I guess the question for the, or I guess the whole point of the video was this, since it's seeing how many I can get in a week, is to see how active Street Pass is in 2023. And well, normal everyday occurrence, you're most likely to get zero, I guess, depending on where you live. In the city, there's more likely that you could, but in kind of like a rural town, or like, it's like kind of big, but also isn't. There's probably not, so that there's that. So, is Street Pass dead? Yes and no, I guess. 
I mean, it's pretty obvious that if you go to a convention, there will obviously be street passes that you'll get. And that's kind of cool to see that some people still want to see the street pass feature kind of live on. Now, with the total complete death of the 3DS, it's kind of hard to say how long exactly there will continue to be street passes. I'm sure there'll be some next year, some at least some people who will still bring their 3DS and get some street passes, but two, even three years down the road, I'm assuming that there'll be less and less street passes, or at least people bringing their 3DSs. So it is kind of sad to see that there are less and less street passes that you can get, but but overall, there's still a community that are still trying to keep up the spirit of the street pass, which is really cool to see, and I, just, oh, I would love to see it still continue to live on, but it's kind of something that it's kind of hard to keep going. So yeah, in again, in conventions, you'll most likely get street passes, but in, in normal everyday life, you'll get barely none. But I guess to end it off, I should show you the total of the three passes I got. The total amount comes to wherever I decided to put, put it, I don't know, put the counter. And I don't even know since I lost track of how many uh, three passes I got. So probably post editing me or yeah, future editing me will probably give a reaction. I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of sad to see this journey end, but also kind of not sad since I don't have to be lugging this around with me everywhere anymore. Kind of ending it on a kind of bittersweet, again, bittersweet note, but people are still keeping this damn thing alive and it's still cool to see. And I'm sure it'll continue to live on for at least a few years or so. So it's still really nice to see, but when it ends, it'll be sad. But again, I'm really happy to see that there's still a community within the 3DS sphere, or at least the Street Pass sphere, that is. So yeah. That's all I really have to say. I don't know. I guess I should be motivating pe more people to uh, take their 3DSs along with them, but I feel like that that would just be a chore. But yeah. So the endings off. Come on, your fucking 3DS! Like holy shit, there's some good games on here that most of you probably missed out on. Like fucking Kid Icarus! Holy shit, this game is fun. And keep this damn Street Pass alive. God, God.